असलम स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप दैट यू ऑल आर फाइन बाय द ग्रेक्स ऑफ अल्लाह ताला। टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अवर टर्म वन ऑफ कंप्यूटर साइंस बाय लेसन नंबर वन बट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू विल हैव टू टेक आउट योर टेक्स्ट बुक एंड पुट दैट इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू सो it will help you to understand the explanation more clearly on page number 1 you have your lesson number 1 and the title of lesson number 1 is history and development of computers in this lesson we will study about the evolution and development of a computer but first of all i'll give you the introduction of a computer as you all know that what is a computer a computer is an electronic device that can solve many problems within seconds or within minutes computer has a very fast speed and accuracy in results it is a very efficient and reliable machine it relate to different fields like industry commerce engineering and education it has a huge memory in which it can store a lot of information in short computer is a very very efficient and useful machine let's discuss about the historical background of computer in the historical background of computer we will study about different devices which were invented by the different scientists at that time the history of computer started when the chinese made a wooden frame holding a number of beads thread and stones this device was named as abacus or you can call that counting frame this device was the first calculating device which which was invented in the history of computer and a backus was used for the simple arithmetic calculations after the abacus when the arabic numerals 0 to 9 were introduced the process of calculation became much easier a scientist called john napier invented a calculating device and that device was called as napier's bones john napier used the arabic numerals 0 to 9 for the invention of the napier bones after the napier bones and another calculating device was invented which was known as slide rule slide rule slide rule was still in use till the introduction of electronic calculators happened after the invention of the slide rule a scientist blaise pascal in 1642 invented the first mechanical calculating machine which was known as pascal's calculator and it was considered as the first mechanical calculating machine this device comprises wheels dials 
and windows in which you can see the numbers that you were calculating. This device can only add and subtract. After the Pascal's calculator, another calculating machine was invented by Gottfried W. Dot von Leibniz in 1671. He invented a better calculating machine than Pascal's calculator. He improved the shape of the Pascal's calculator and he invented a device which can also multiply and find square roots. So it was the better version of a calculating device than Pascal's calculator. These all devices like Abacus, Pascal's calculator, Napier's bones and slide rule were considered as the most valuable devices of that time. It means that in devices ko us waqt bahut zyada importance hasil thi aur inme bahut sare improvements aaye waqt ke saath saath jab 18th century ka end hua. In 1801, Joseph Mary Jacquard, a French engineer, developed punched card system for power looms. Punched card system kapro par pattern store karne ke liye use kiya jata tha. Lekin Joseph Mary ne us device ko computing device mein change kar diya tha. And also this device was considered as the most important invention of that time. Now in 1823, Charles Babbage, a British mathematician who was considered as the father of modern computer because he gave birth to research in computer field. Charles Babbage go computer development ka father kaha jata hai because unhu ne computer research field mein ek bohat bada kirdar da kiya tha. He planned to make a machine which he called analytical engine. In 1833, he worked on that machine and he designed that machine. But unfortunately, he never converted his dreams into reality. Charles Babbage ne ek analytical engine ijad karne ke liye plan kiya aur us par bahut koshishein ki uske bahut designs banaye lekin unfortunately wo us analytical engine ko bana nahi paaye kyunki us waqt engineering aur technology ka standard itna high nahi tha so that's why he was failed to make that machine but later on that machine was made by Other scientists. In 1890, an American Herman Hollerith designed first electric computing device. Hollerith ne first electric computing device ijad kiya, jisme unhu ne bhi punch cards wala system use kiya tha. There were many efforts were made by different scientists to improve the computing machine. In 1948, Howard H. Todd Aiken developed an electromechanical computer and named it Mark I. Mark I was the first true computer. Howard H. Aiken ne ek electromechanical computer ijad kiya jise Mark I kaha gaya. Mark 1 ko sahi zubaan mein computer kaha gaya kyunki wo bohat sare information and instructions ko store kar sakta tha. 
1946, John W. Moakley and J. P. Eckert developed an electronic numerical integrator and calculator, which was known as ENIAC. Mark I ke baad, John W. Moakley and J. P. Eckert ne a computer design kiya jise ENIAC kaha gaya. Then ENIAC was improved by John von Neumann in 1950 and usko EDVAC ka naam diya gaya. ENIAC ke baad jo uska improved version aya usse EDVAC kaha gaya. EDVAC was the first computer that could store both the programs as well as the data. ENIAC or EDVAC ke baad in 1950 a computer was made which was known as UNIVAC 1 and it had all the processing capabilities and data. Now moving towards our next topic which is generations of computer. The different generations of computer are based on the development of computers. The development of computers is divided into different stages which is based on the technology used for the machine. Development of computer ko four different generations may divide kiya gaya unke technology ke hisab se. So, we will study the four, gener four generations in this lesson. First generation 1945 till 55. In the first generation, the computers like ENIAC, EDVAC, UNIVAC and MARC1 were developed. These computers were considered as the first computers that were made. In this generation, the computers developed by the use of vacuum tubes. First generation mein kuch computers ijad hue jin mein vacuum tubes ka istamal kiya gaya aur in computers ko us wakt ke fastest calculating devices mein shumar kiya gaya but those computers were very heavy very costly and unreliable but un computers ko unreliable kaha gaya kyunki wo bahut zyada mehenge aur size mein bahut zyada bade the so this all happened in the first generation. Second generation, 1955 till 64. In the second generation, transistors replaced vacuum tubes. Different computers like Univac 2, IBM 1401 and CDC 1604 were invented in that generation. These computers were smaller in size, faster and more reliable than the computers which were invented in first generation. Wo computers jo second generation mein ijad hue, un computers ko first generation ke computers se zyada fast, smaller aur reliable kaha gaya. Aur un computers mein vacuum tubes ko replace karke transistors ka use kiya gaya. So the computers invented in the second generation were more reliable than the computers invented in first generation. Third generation, 
1964 till 70 in early 1960 the integrated circuits were developed and the technology of solid state was introduced this generation of computers was more reliable faster and smaller than first and second generation third generation mein integrated circuits ijad kiye gaye jiski wajah se electronic technology bahut improve hui थर्ड जनरेट जनरेशन के कंप्यूटर्स को फर्स्ट और सेकंड जनरेशन के कंप्यूटर्स से ज़्यादा रिलायबल कहा गया फोर्थ जनरेशन 1970 एंड ऑनवर्ड्स इन 1970s द इंटीग्रेटेड सर्किट टेक्नोलॉजी वाज मोर डेवलप्ड टू transfer all the functions of computer on a single chip and that single chip was known as microprocessor fourth generation mein microprocessor ka invention hua jo ek single chip hai jisme computer ke tamam functions control karne ki ability thi microprocessors brought the computer age into fourth generation and the development of micro computers brought computers down from the organizational level to the personal level now moving towards our next topic which is types of computers computers are classified into three types and these types are divided on the basis of hardware their structure and the physical quantities the three types are number 1 analog computer number 2 digital computer and number 3 hybrid computer analog computers An analog computer is a type of computer in which you can measure the different physical quantities like speed, weight, temperature, etc. These computers are made up of electrical devices like resistors, amplifiers, and transistors analog computers ko different physical quantities measure karne ke liye use kiya jata hai jaise ki speed weight or temperature analog computers ke sath sath analog clock analog thermometer or different analog devi- analog devices bhi use kiye jate hain The analog computers are very fast in processing and real-time simulation. Digital computers. Now, what are the functions of digital computer? The computers that we use at personal level are included in the digital computers. Digital computers represent physical quantities by digits or numbers. These digits or numbers are used to calculate arithmetic calculations and to make logical decisions. Digital computers are easy to program. Digital computers are classified into three main groups. Number one is mainframe computer. Number two is mini computer, 
and number three is microcomputer. This classification is based on the processing power, functions and memory. And the last type of computer is hybrid computer. Hybrid computer is the combination of properties of both analog and digital computers. Hybrid computers un computer ko kaha jata hai jin mein analog or digital computers dono ke functions perform karne ki capability hoti hai. For example, it has speed of analog computers and memory and accuracy of digital computers. Hybrid computer is the combination of both analog and digital computers and it also has the characteristics of both types. Now here the explanation of the chapter ends. On page number 6, there is a summary given in which the chapter is explained very shortly. Just read that summary so you will understand the chapter more clearly. I hope that you understood the chapter clearly.